Uh, throughout the years, people would come by this channel, and some of them would uh, surmise that I was setting balls up and just running patterns over and over again and just uh, taking the best one and making a video out of it, and I never, ever, ever did that. I was saving all the breaks to make an award-winning break video just solely, completely on the break, but these guys kind of screwed that up, and I just started including the break in the video to prove what I was doing, and all the people went back up under the floorboards and hid out and stayed quiet like the little cockroaches that they are. I buried those cockroaches! Anyhow, the key, the very key to getting a gravy nine ball run out is in the break. You can rest assured it's all about the break, and we all love gravy. Well, most of us love gravy. Yeah, we all, and when it comes to nine ball, we all love gravy outs. And it's funny how a great player will run a simple rack and it'll look really unimpressive, you know. The guy really just, he didn't do anything, especially they were all sitting in the hole and he just ran them out. Big deal. But if you think about it, yes, he did do something special. He spent his whole life working on that break. You know, a lot of times it'll look like he didn't do anything, but he actually did. I mean, there's always something in a rack of nine ball, even if it's no big deal. He still had to think about it, or she had to think about it and had to work on it and had to hit the balls right. So, and this is just another one of those cases where, you know, it looks like I'm not doing anything, but I actually am. This one ball to the five is, is tricky, and we have another problem down table. Although, you know, 7, 8, and 9 are right there and the table is separated. It, it, it is gravy, but I still have to work a little bit. And I, I can't get on this side of the 7 um, because the 8 blocking it. So there's no doubt that I have to get on the right side of the 7 ball in order to run that out. And if we look where the 4 ball is, and the 5 ball will go on the combination. But if we look where the 4 ball is, we have to get from the 4 to the 7. So that's going to take a little bit of thinking, and it might bring up the scratch in the side. So there's always these little problems, no matter how easy it might look to the public. And before we move on to the actual video, let's take a look at this opening shot here on the 1-5. And some people would be tempted to play a billiard here, and it might make sense to them. So I want to explain why it doesn't, and why the combination is much better if we keep the one ball by that corner pocket and if that's the case then the one ball will be makeable from anywhere on the table as long as we don't get tied up with something so if we shoot this at billiard from the one to the five you're going to make the five easily but where's the one ball going and this is what you're going to be left with something like this and you're not going to like it and it's probably going to stop you in your tracks so you need to play safe here and shoot the combination with the focus on leaving the one ball in that corner pocket now the problem with that is the cue ball is going to come back and it's going to make contact with the three ball um so that can be a little bit risky but in this position there's almost no way to avoid it so we're going to have to shoot it and I try to hit the three ball full so the three ball is going to wind up right here and we're wide open for the whole rack now we got to get from the one back to the three ball and then back to the right position on the four ball to get on the right side of the table for the seven that's relative scooby